Welcome back folks to Let's Play Uncharted Drake's Fortune for the PS3. I'm Samurai TX and when we last left off our heroes Elena and Drake had um, made their way to the monastery via jet ski as um, we had to fight our way through because the bad guys were targeting us. Not to mention um, we found a booby trap um, that wasn't made by the Spanish. It was made by people that made things from our um, plane. So now we are um, in the main part of this monastery and we're going to make our way here because um, we still need to um, go into the library. That's our next goal because um, there's lots of things to explore. So now we're going to get sniped. Well, we were because the fact that some had their red light on us. Red laser sign, should I say? Not red light, but red laser sign. We did miss that sniper shot. What a waste. We're not going to collect any treasure in this area. There's um, three treasures in this area, actually. So... Um, we're not going to collect those until we um, defend ourselves, so let's um, just fight our way through and heal because of the fact that we're going to die if we don't. Hello, you. Headshot. Yeah, that's what you get for covering yourself there. That was a pretty dumb move. Anyway, um, Elena's up there. We're going to protect her as well because um, she's not really that accurate, to be honest. Sometimes she is, sometimes she isn't. And um, we're going to also do the blind fire thing because. Um, we can get a medal for it, but um, we don't want to waste too much ammo doing the blind fire thing, because if we do, then we're just going to be screwed, because we're just going to have less ammo. And he's down. So now um, we're going to um, resupply on our ammo, it looks like. We definitely need to. And we're getting targeted. We're going to hide quickly before that guy with the red laser sight and kills us. But instead, we're going to snipe him. Never mind. Elena's shooting him, so uh, we did miss one shot. Elena was trying to shoot him while we were trying to um, get a shot as well, actually, but um, that's okay. Only got one more sniper bullet left, we're just going to hide and try and shoot one of these guys. But we did hit someone, I don't know who it was, but now we're going to pick up our M4 because this um, sniper has no bullets in it. And we're going to pick up this M4. Now we've got, um, oh dear. Now we've got about E1 um, ammo, which is pretty sweet. At least we can go and put people to waste a bit, but we're going to also use our handgun. We've got the shotgun targeting us and the grenade launcher guy. But well, we're going to put down the grenade launcher guy first. And now there's the shotgun guy. So let's run around quickly. Oh, he ran around that way. That wasn't very smart. He could have just hit me from the side. Hurt shot. And because the music's died down, that means the threat's gone. Right, let's see what's going on. That must be the library. Oh, so I was right. We're definitely going to the library. Let's find another way in. Scope things out. Well, Nate, before we even scope things out, what I want to do is look for ammo and um, pick up the treasures, because there's free treasures in this area. So I'm not leaving this area without picking up the treasures. So the first treasure will be up here. So let's get the treasure. Yes, um, I did say we're going to fight first. So we got a silver toothpick. We got the gold toothpick earlier in the um, game. Now we got the silver toothpick. So that's treasure 38. And treasure 39 is nearby, and so is treasure number 40, but we're going to get treasure 39 first, which is over here as we roll around on the floor. See, as you can see, there's something shining over here, so let's pick it up. And that's a golden Spanish chalice. And now we're going to get treasure number 40 before we um, continue on with our adventure. So let's go. And treasure number 40 will be this way. Um, walk through this little um, big hall, uh, not big hall, but walk through this little cave area or tunnel, whatever you want to call it. No, we don't want the shotgun because we don't want it because we got um, lots of bullets of M4. And um, there we go. The silver Kotimundi. We got the gold Kotimundi already, so yeah, that's the silver one. And we get Professional Fortune Hunter medal for um, getting 40 treasures. So we've only got 21 more treasures to collect and then that will be all of them. But yeah, um, there's going to be another treasure um, in this um, chapter as well. So we're going to uh, pick up as much things as we can before we even progress. No, we don't want the grenade launcher. And that's a shotgun. So I think that's all we can get, actually. So let's get going, because um, we need to get to the library, because that's top priority. Especially as everyone's um, at the monastery trying to beat us to the um, search of El Dorado. So yeah, we got to beat um, Roman and co. before they get it before us. Cutscene. She just as soon kill you as kiss you if she caught you stepping out. Just a wee bit of a thing. She couldn't have been much more than 4'11". They called her the spinner because Will she... Will you shut up, old man? You told us that one a dozen times already. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> of course I did. 
memory's not what it used to be. What the hell's taking you so long anyway? Well, maybe you hadn't noticed, but most of these books are half rotten and written in Spanish. Yeah, well, hurry it up. The boss is waiting on you. Hey! Up there! Great, we've been spotted. All right, so it's time to defend ourselves. All right, bring it on. <coughs> Sorry about that. All right, we've got to be careful of the red lasers. So I'm just going to keep rolling because I know they won't be able to hit me while I'm rolling and running. Mostly rolling because then they will keep aiming. Well, he's down, so that was pretty quickly. And yes, Sully is a liar if you noticed when Elena showed us the camera and footage that she got before she lost the camera because um, she was... Um, hanging with one hand, um, we had the one hand and she had the camera with the other one and she was um, falling. But yeah, um, never mind that, she um, was recording in standard play mode anyway so it's good that she discarded the camera or let the camera go because um, standard play, who records like that these days? I don't think anybody does. Alright, so we're gonna um, get rid of this guy because he has the red laser and he could kill us in one shot because that gun is actually pretty strong. Not as strong as the Western 44, but um, headshot. But it's still strong no less. Right, let's go down now. We're gonna try and pick up some ammo as well actually while we're at it. Because we're greedy for ammo, of course. But yeah, they're targeting us because we've um, made our way down. Now let's shoot this guy. He has a grenade launcher, so we're definitely gonna kill this guy. Third shot. And we're going to kill that guy because he has a shotgun. Let's reload and let's um, resupply some um, bullets. There we go. And the grenades, obviously. Alright, so let's try and do blind fire now. If we can. There we go. Yeah, we're trying to do blind fire to get the. Um, the um, try and get the medal. But um, you don't really have to get the medal, but I'm trying to get um, as many medals as I can through this one playthrough. Obviously, because um, I want medals, you see. I'm greedy for them. I'm sort of greedy for them. You can't blame me for being greedy. You know, there's a thousand medals out of all them. Let's not get hurt. Right. right, let's see if I can hit you from here. There we go, he's down. Good stuff. Oh, man, it's about time you showed up. <sighs> well, you're looking awfully good for a corpse. So you brought the girl after all, eh? The girl? Hey, if it wasn't for her, you wouldn't be getting rescued right now. If this is a rescue... What the hell does that mean? You gotta admit, Sully, this all looks a little shady. Yeah. I mean, you tipping those guys off... And miraculously showing up alive? Now wait a goddamn minute. Roman had a contract out on me. I needed to buy some time. All right, stupid mistake. I didn't realize they'd try and track us. Sully, we would have been headed home with the treasure by now if you had just for once kept your mouth shut. And you might have thought of checking for a pulse before running off and leaving me for dead. Look, none of that matters now. All right, so how is it you're standing here breathing and all, huh? <laughs> you are not going to believe this. Huh? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Old Francis took a bullet for you. Yeah. I thought this kind of thing only happened in the movies. Yeah, well, it still hurt like a son of a bitch, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I bet. Anyway, once they realized I wasn't dead, I convinced Roman that they would never find the treasure without me. So I've been trying to mislead him ever since, waiting for you to show up. Well, where are they now? Well, they're chasing a little red herring I sent him on on the other side of the monastery to get rid of him. <laughs> Look, Drake had it all figured out. See, that's the symbol the Spanish used to mark their secret vaults. The treasure is hidden right here in this monastery. Find the symbol, and we, we find, find the vault. vault. We have everything we need right here. All the clues to take us right to the treasure. We can do this, kid. <laughs> all right. You boys aren't going to get all chummy and leave the girl behind again, are you? <laughs> Don't even think about it, Sully. She's got a mean right hook. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> It'd be stupid if you do leave her behind. All right. Let's look at the statues. And well, this is the first serious puzzle of the game, actually. Minus the kindergarten puzzle they gave us in the first part of the um, game. That does not count as a puzzle for me, because it's just, that was kindergarten stuff. This is an actual puzzle. 
where I pick up the um, M4 bullets, which is good. And now there is a... Uh, um, this is the puzzle. Sorry, I was lost for words momentarily. Let's go up here. And um, that's the bird. And the bird is John. And John has to go to the east. So what you're going to do with this one is... Um, well, let's hold it. Okay. Right now, John is facing the... Um, let's see. He's facing... Um, East, west. He was facing the west. So we're going to put John facing the east, the bird. And now we're going to jump to the human. And um, the human, um, or the human head, or the angel, that is Matthew. And Matthew has to be facing north. So right now Matthew is facing south. So let's turn Matthew twice to the north. And um, now we're going to go to the um, horse, or goat. And the goat is um, Luke, and Luke has to be facing the west. Right now, Luke is facing the east, so we're going to turn him west. No, that was the, um, yeah, there's the west. Yes. I was sorry, I was messing around there. And um, finally, um, Mark has to be facing the, um, this way. Yeah, you get the puzzle, but... Um, I probably didn't explain it as good as um, others did, but you know, you get the point. It was a pretty easy puzzle when you get to know it, when you know your compasses. So let's go down here, and then the final treasure should be here. So I think this is about the sixth treasure in the level, because I think right now we're on 40. This will be the 41st treasure, so should be somewhere around the corner right here. And it's the golden cup and cover, so that's the beautiful thing. So that's the um, final treasure. So six treasures were in this. Let's turn that round. Let's read this first. The inverted torch leads to the land of the dead. All right. So now we got to turn this one, and then um, everything should open. So let's just wait patiently for the cutscene, and I'm going to keep quiet. Looks promising. Here, let me see that. Yeah. Okay. You two sit tight. I'm gonna check things out. Whoa, wait, no. You're not going out there alone. Yeah, Roman's men are swarming all over this place. Yeah, and one person will make a lot less noise than three. Come on, I'll be fine. And you guys will be safe here. They don't even know about this room. Okay, take this with you. Leave it on channel 13. They don't use that one keep us posted all right you got it close this thing back up yeah Nate be careful <laughs> come on I always am <laughs> 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 oh what an idiot <laughs> I always am and then he smacks his head off the thing <laughs> oh god Alright, so I think there's um, two to three treasures in this place, too, in this chapter. So here's the first treasure. Um, go to Inca Vessel. Looks rather nice. That's the 42nd treasure of the game. Yeah, treasures come thick and fast when it comes to this part of the game, anyway. Um, as you can see, there were six um, treasures in the previous chapter. But yeah, they come thick and fast because we're getting nearer and nearer to the end of the game. So yeah, there will be um, another chapter where there will be like five treasures and whatnot. But I think this chapter has three treasures. That's the first treasure. The second one is also nearby. We'll just have to do this little obstacle here first before we think about treasure. So let's um, just jump over here. And it looks like it's going to break, so we're going to have to be very, very quick. No less, um, that's always going to happen. So let's jump now. Then again. Then um, let's jump here. So um, the treasure is um, go to the waterfall. If you go to the waterfall, underneath here anyway, you will find your second treasure of this chapter. And that will be the Golden Skull. Wouldn't surprise me if there's a Silver Skull in this game either, <laughs> to be honest with you. I forgot the names of the treasure, but it wouldn't surprise me if there's a Silver Skull. And um, here is where you're going to get ambushed, so you better prepare yourself. So throw a grenade, because there is going to be someone there. And just like that, he is dead. And now let's attack this guy, because he's got a shotgun, so let's wait for him to appear. Come on. Screw it. Archer. There we go. Is that everybody dead? We're going to pick up the ammo. Oh, there's someone alive. 
Right now, let's um, look around here. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hello? Hello? Right, we're just going to casually shoot blind. Like, without aiming. And he's down. We've got 77 M4 bullets, which is not too bad. And we're going to probably reload. Oh, the music died down. That clearly means that there's no threat ahead. When the music starts playing up, no, we don't want the, the, des the, the Desert 5. And I think that's the shotgun, so we don't want that. Any more bullets around here? I don't think so. Okay, so I think that's it. But there is a treasure nearby, so yes, um, as soon as you activate this mechanism here, there will be a treasure nearby, so um, be keep, do keep an eye out, but I know, I'm going to show you where it is, because I know where it is, obviously, and I said I'm going to um, get every treasure, so slowly, um, after you peep your head out of this place, this is going to shut on you, and behind you there should be a treasure. So let's pick it up, and it's going to be a silver snuff box. There we go. So that's treasure number 44 of this game. And now this part is where we're going to get ambushed, so we're going to have to be careful. So let's just headshot. Um, I didn't mean let's just headshot, but I guess it conserves ammo, so yeah, headshots will be fine. But um, I wasn't particularly aiming for a headshot there. I was actually particularly aiming to um, keep them silent. But um, either way, headshots work rather fine. I'm not complaining at the fact that I got a headshot. Headshot. I'm not complaining, it's saving me ammo and it's getting the job done. So let's uh, put this guy to sleep without aiming. I think he's dead. No, he's not. Right, let's try and get his attention. Oh, he's thrown a grenade, but we got him. Right, let's hide behind this wall. Yeah, we're going to be ambushed here for quite a while. Let's reload our M4. And now let's go into action and shoot this guy. We're going to get ambushed by two sets of um, enemies, so yeah, we got to be careful. And we're running out of ammo for our M4, so we definitely can't um, afford to do any cross um, hip shooting from the hip. Because um, accuracy is rather important, and so is ammo saving. And we're going to get ambushed again, which isn't a surprise. Um, which isn't a surprise, sorry, not surprised. Alright, so we pick up two bits of M4. 30 bullets of M4, so we should have 60 bullets, to say the least. I might be wrong, but um, who knows. We're just going to use the handgun for now. Yeah, this pistol's very helpful. It shoots fast, the recoil isn't too bad on it either, and um, gets the job done because it's a very powerful handgun. So yeah, it definitely gets um, the job done. So that's why I like it. Oh, 57 bullets. But at least it's still some sort of bullets. Right, let's throw that grenade before we get hurt. And that grenade throw was pathetic. Right, never again am I throwing that much grenades or risking it. So like, let's get you out of the way. Ow, that wasn't too nice, you jerk. Yeah, you didn't die, you sponged. You cheat, don't sponge. Alright, as long as we're distracting them from um, trying to kill us. Right, he's down. Right, let's go. Right, that should cut him down to size. Music stopped, I think. No, the music's still playing. Let's pick this up, pick up some bullets. There's going to be more people, so yeah, I've got to keep my guard up. Right, do you have any more M4 bullets? Do you have M4 bullets? Nope. Nobody has M4 bullets. That's lame. Anyway. Let's go. Do, 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 do. They're, oh, we're getting ambushed again. So, yeah, we definitely got to be a bit careful here. Just alert them. Oh, look, we're shooting that guy in front of us with just by without firing from the hip. That's pretty awesome. Did we kill him? I think we did, actually. No? Alright, let's try again. Okay, we're shooting another guy now. <laughs> we got him, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so this guy is definitely going to be messing around for, right, for a while. We're just going to be aiming... Um... Ouch! Okay, let's go back. Ow, that hurt you, jerk! Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, I always think of Mission Impossible whenever I roll like that. I don't know why. Alright, hello, you. Yeah, you deserve to die just for trying to attack me like that, you bugger. As you can see, we're casually just aiming, needlessly, but... Oh, look, he was going to kill himself anyway, because we shot the grenade out of his hand, but... Either way, it does the job, because we killed him. Now we've got 61 bullets. And I think we should be safe. Yes, the music's died down, so we're technically safe. Yeah, I had to keep quiet just to um, see if the music died down, because I um, jumped the gun way too soon, no pun intended there. 
Yes, I did jump the gun when I said um, we were safe, but we weren't really safe because um, the music was still playing. Wait, there's something about this. All right, why don't you enlighten us, Drake? Two bells resound in perfect harmony. Oh, that's fine by me. Shoot that bell. And shoot that bell. And voila! <laughs> Alright, that's pretty sweet. And what we're going to do here, because we've been going on for 20 minutes. So let's pick up some ammo and reload. Um, 61 um, M4. That's not really a gun that I want, the Desert 5. Anyway, we're going to end the video right here because it's gone 20 minutes, going into 21. So when we come back, folks, we'll head into that um, door that we just activated. And we'll continue our adventure in Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Until then, until then. Thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next episode of Uncharted. Take care, everybody. See ya.